All right, YouTube, what is happening? It's been a while since I did a video on a knife, and I've got a pretty sweet knife here today that I want to talk about. This is the VDK Knives Impaler. Crazy, crazy blade grind on this thing. And this one has been customized, Cerakoted, and customized by Fanatic Edge, who did my ZT0095. Um, this is actually my buddy Curtis's, and he got this. I was very tempted to buy this exact one um, when he had them up for sale recently. He had a bunch of these impalers he'd done in a bunch of different uh, finishes and uh, themes, I guess you'd say. And I wanted to check this knife out. I haven't really had my hands on a VDK before. They're a little over the top designs for my typical use and what I would actually carry. But they're um, very, I mean, they're cool. They're definitely different and they're very well made, and the, the design is definitely well executed by uh, Wee Knives, is who makes this knife. So, this one has a black and red Cerakote uh, kind of worn finish. If you notice here on the handle here, that is the face of Darth Maul, which is pretty sweet. So, if you're a big Star Wars guy, it's kind of the way they did this knife, and I thought this was pretty sweet. And he ended up grabbing one of these, uh, grabbing this one from uh, Fanatic Edge. So. Well, let's talk about the knife and not so much about, you know, the Fanatic Edge work, but the actual knife here and, um, you know, how it's made and where it's made and all those kind of things. So, designed by VDK Knives, who's done a War Admiral. Um, he's got like three or four different designs. This one is, um, the Impaler has this crazy Warncliffe modified compound ground, just crazy, crazy knife. Um, very, very different, um, but very, very well built and very, the design is actually very good. I mean, for what it is, not a very practical EDC knife, but it is a very cool design and it's unique and different and, and that, and it works really well. Um, the manufacturing, I guess, is handled by Wee Nice on these and that's kind of the go-to for most companies now in when they're wanting their design, I shouldn't say necessarily companies, but designers. When they're wanting their design done, they want, they usually go through Wee Knives. Um, this is kind of a relatively within the last couple of years thing. Um, before, but we don't really know because we Wee's always been an OEM manufacturer. Um, so I'm pretty sure more people have used them in the past that we know about. But they just kind of became their own brand and started making their own knives. So they were a little bit more well known. So, But here is four different knives made by Wee right here on the table. And these are all four excellent, excellent knives, but none of these are Wii designs. These are all, you got two booze blades, you got the Ferrum Forge Gent, and then the VDK Impaler. So if you're getting a knife made by Wii, it's going to be excellent quality. I think they're at, right there at the top of the game uh, in the Chinese market as an OEM, right up there with Riot. Or Riati, or, you know, it's a different pronunciation of that every time I hear someone say it. So I'm going to stick with Riot, but... They're right up there with Riot, in my opinion. The thing that we offer is a little bit more than Riot does is more is better value, um, and I think that's why you're seeing a lot more manufacturers use them um, for their designs. Uh, not excuse me, not manufacturers, designers using we to manufacture their own designs if they don't have the prowess to do it themselves. Uh, with the exception of uh, Todd Bag and uh, Bag Knives and Leon Ma using Riot, so. Too much the top of the Chinese game, but getting a, this is kind of a rambling video so far. So let's talk more about this knife. It's on bearings. It's very. It's got an incredibly smooth action, as you can see here. You can use the thumb side to open this knife, or you can use the flipper, which is well designed. The handle has very good ergonomics. It is an integral as well, by the way, which is you know Wee's done quite a few of these. They're they've got it definitely um, down. And the price point on these, I think, was I mean what he paid was I think two ninety nine, but I think they were in the three hundreds originally just for a stock one he was kind of blowing these out of that price with this custom finish and such so very well made for the money um the design does work well it's got a nice comfortable handle you've got some uh kind of functional jimping right here not really but the compound grind is done very well by we um you do have a little bit of a forward choil here more of a sharp you can't you can't actually choke up on the blade here but it's definitely not quite big enough. Um, I mean, it works, but you're right there by the edge, so it's kind of nerve. Makes me a little nervous to do it anyway. But the steel lock bar insert works well. The action is just buttery smooth. Uh, it's a very well made knife by Wee Knives, and nice, very unique and different design by VDK. And that's kind of VDK's thing. That's what he does. So your blade length on this is going to be 
um, roughly four inches. If you go from the tip to the flipper tab, it is exactly four inches. Uh, your cutting edge though is more like three and a quarter uh, inch of cutting edge. Um, you know, this has been Cerakoted and such. I'm not exactly sure. Let me verify what the blade still is real quick. Um, I think it's S35 or M390. That's kind of the flavor of the month lately. Your closed length on this is going to be about four and three quarters inches, just shy of four and three quarters uh, inches on that. So let's verify. There's no marking. On, oh, you know what? They usually hide it. If it's we, they tend to hide the blade marking. The blade's still like on the top of the flipper tab, or I don't see it anywhere. So, but you're four and about four and three quarters inch knife. So it's a it's a good size knife. Uh, weight wise, you're looking at it's not terribly heavy, but it's not exactly what I would call a lightweight knife either. Yeah. It's actually pretty heavy. 6.2 ounces. 6.2. Yep. 6.2 ounces. So it's definitely not a um, lightweight. Let's get that zeroed again and try that again. It's supposed to be weird. 6.1. So we were off by an ounce or 0.1 ounces. So it's a pretty heavy, uh, big. Beast of a knife. It is S35, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So, um, good blade still. Um, the, he has these listed on his website is actually at 385, so they're out of stock. So they were a sub $400 knife. The quality is definitely there. You get Integral, which is typically a way more expensive um, process to manufacture. So I don't think the price is uh, is far gone, but the quality is definitely there for the price. So. Just an interesting design. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I like this, how Fanatic Edge did this one. He likes to do the Star Wars themes knife, hence I had him do my Mandalorian uh, Boba Fett knife. And, you know, it's it's some people like that, some people don't. That's fine. Even you just bought a stock impaler. Um, but the price he did on these with this modification was pretty good. But I've been very impressed by the quality. I mean, he gave this to me to review as he's on vacation right now. And, carrying around and, and using it and such and it's you know it's like i said not a practical knife but that's really not the kind of knife my friend buys <laughs> honestly he likes these out outlandish off the wall kind of designs and it, it works it works well for what it is you know it's it's more of a collector's piece more of a fit you know it's a great knife to fidget with to flip um it's super smooth i mean it literally like falls on itself the action's fantastic but uh as a regular everyday everyday carry knife i don't see where it would fit you know, but you know, a lot of guys carry knives like these every day. So it's, you know, just a personal preference, but I wanted to just give you a first, uh, just a first impressions, you know, kind of, uh, on the VDK impaler, all the VDK knives are, have been made, I believe by we, and so the quality is definitely there. Um, and the designs are, you know, definitely over the top, but they're, they're well executed by we and by, um, by, uh, VDK. So that's it. I think that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Um, I'm going to do a separate video here in a minute, uh, upload separately about basically the state of my collection right now and um, kind of talk a little bit about um, Wee Knives, Rayot, some different Chinese companies and how they're kind of changing the knife market. And I mean, not are changing, they have changed the knife market. And we'll get into that in a minute. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.